13 years. Wow. Took 13 years to make a million dollars smile. <laughs> 13 years? One past five. Like I said, a million dollars smile doesn't happen in one night. Sheesh. So, coming up next.
since I am at heart an educator, I'll just say a couple of quick words. Congratulations to those of you who are taking leadership positions. And as you look at the tradition of passing the torch, how many of you know where that comes from? Jay-Z? Jay-Z? It's an ancient Greek tradition where warriors to move the army forward would literally pass the torch from one to the other to move the army into battle. And it's become a metaphor in modern times for the change of leadership. And leadership, not just among students, but among the community is critical. So as one generation moves on to the next set of challenges, the next generation takes up those challenges. So for those of you that have agreed to do that, my congratulations and my thanks. For those of you that are moving on, my congratulations and my thanks. Have a wonderful evening. My co-partner, I don't know where he went, he just kind of left me 
It's uh, the history of our toy ceremony and the flame of knowledge and experience that we share here at Hostos as members of the Student Leadership Academy has a story history. In the spring of 2008, the first passage of the tour ceremony took place was called the Secret Ceremony. I wonder why. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. <laughs> <laughs> Only Jason knew. <laughs> and the members did not expect to have many guests. It turned out that only one, excuse me, not only did they have an audience, but they had a vice chancellor for student affairs, the vice president of student development, and an enrollment manager, the dean and the president of the college even appeared and stayed for the entire ceremony. Excuse me, we will have the president, or excuse me, the interim president, soon to be president, Woo! the vice president, hmm, we're, 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 we're so for real. <laughs> the ceremony took place in the lounge. The food was served at evening at room 391 and see the on or whatever. That would be an unimaginable now. At that time, there were only 75 members. How many do we have now? <laughs> well, it was expected 200 and plus, but we don't be alumni. They don't count, do they? Do the, the, the alumni count? Oh, All right. Oh, oh, okay, okay. They have, they have, a, they have a little saying. It was much like it was today, and it's the eighth anniversary, a celebration of the academy, and an opportunity to share the knowledge and experience that each member has attained as a part of a group. The major difference in the ceremony today is the participation of the alumni. Let's go, well, they'll, they'll spread. We got most of them here. I'm sitting there. Um, You're an alumni? Finally, I am. Yeah. Um, so, They are a vital part of our organization and return to help us celebrate and share the claim of knowledge each year. We also have added color to the program after the fifth year. For the first five years, it was all black and white. And as we closed out the fifth year with both a commitment to the past and the future, we decided to change the model and added one color each year, in each year. Red, royal blue, and this year gold. We also decided to add subtitles to each program. So it is not only passing the torch, but this year it is also Ultra Ani. Um, one more thing before uh, I forget, and Jason reminds me. At the first ceremony, when Maria Delgado, Yocasta Polanco, Ulysses Ortiz, Elisa Soriano, and Maggi Custodio led the way, Jason gave all the members a special gift. This, um, the year, um, that year, the first year, there was one of, uh, one of a kind glass angels in a spectrum of colors. Each year since there has been a special gift for the members who attend. In the fifth year, there was a challenge point that had the SLA logo on the front and the posters bridge on the back. It was a one-of-a-kind gift as well. Nobody knows what the gift will be this year, but it is something that we look forward to receiving. Thank you, Jason. And now I'd like to invite to the stage uh, Osos alum and now City College um, attendee, Jaquana Hardy. Please come up. Good evening, everybody. Um, this year's theme was made by me. Woo! <laughs> I chose the tour on you because I wanted to break the, the trend of the Hunger Games. You know, every year we're seeing it rising. It was the, every year they just felt like the hungry ones. So I wanted to say something that signified the meaning of the whole association academy. So I chose the tour of Nini. I was writing a philosophy paper when I chose the term. And I was sitting with a fellow alum named Michael Cruz. He's like the archbishop of everything. I call him the archbishop of everything. He wins every scholarship. Every time you turn around his passport stamped more times than any postal letter. Honestly. And we're sitting in the library typing a paper for one of our classes that we got together, and he's like, I'm like, I gotta think about passing the torch, I gotta find out a theme for this year, because I'm not, I'm not doing another Hungry Games book, honestly. And I'm, as I'm going to Google, I come up with this term, Tira and I'm like, okay, the leadership 
leadership does cultivate our minds and our souls, and we do get cultivated as we go through the academy and through the process of the academy. So I was like, hey, it's perfect. I felt like I was cultivated through the academy. So perfect term. So I'm just, I actually took it in my phone and went back to my paper, which was a total flop, because it was for public policy, total flop. The policy paper was a total flop, but the philosophy paper was good. <laughs> um, I just want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. This is the eighth annual. We're two more years until the tenth. You know, every five and a half you guys will be alone, just like me. You'll get your old. And you, you, you make most of a permanent home. You don't ever shy away from most of those. I never shy away from most of those. And I've been at Tiff for three years, and, I'm, and I still haven't shy away from most of those. I just want to send a shout out to my mom, my sister in law, who couldn't be here. Um, everybody, I'm just grateful that everybody see everybody here. Thank you. I hope you guys have a great evening. That's it. <laughs>
who was also a member of BSU that went up there and came back with this oath. So this is leadership building up on leadership. You guys have a lot behind you and you have a great deal in front of you and you're extremely, extremely impressive. And we will continue to fund this program. As a matter of fact, you guys are doing outstanding work and the president, Dr. David Gomez, helped fund a new initiative to establish a scholarship coordinator within the Leadership Academy. And we need to remember, this is about you know, a lot of support. It's in the right place. And, uh, uh, I can't say how much I'm proud of you guys, and I thank you for representing us. I think that if I would have noticed this earlier on the year, they would 